guys, it's Pluto's. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm Pluto's. I create dolls slash toy content at least once a week. And today, I'm going to be doing a kind of lengthy video. Um, I know I haven't been creating doll content once a week. I have been absent from YouTube, but I'm back. And, well, hopefully, um, you know, just life happens and stuff happens. And I couldn't upload it on YouTube as much. But I tried to stay active everywhere else. Um, but that being said, I let's just get right into the video. So the last six-ish months, I've been wanting to purge my collection and just go through stuff, um, you know, go through my collection and see what I do and don't want. And I just kind of want to open this topic up because I do feel like this topic has been brewing in the doll community and different doll communities, not just like Bratz or Monster High. Like I've seen this topic come up um, in like American Girl dolls, for example. And I just find it so interesting because this topic has been on my mind for about a year now. And I definitely think I've grown as a doll collector and I want to share that with others. But personally, me as a doll collector, I collect many different types of dolls. Um, doll lines that people probably don't even hear of and doll lines that are probably very, very popular. And um, that itself is so overwhelming, especially me. I'm a completionist. Um, I don't think I'm a completionist anymore. I'm trying to get out of that just due to the overconsumption of just stuff and, you know, financial stuff. Like, it's not good to um, overconsume when, you know, you need to prioritize other things in life. And I definitely think that one can get addicted to dolls and... Don't get me wrong, I think dolls are such a beautiful thing to collect. Um, toys in general, like it doesn't have to be dolls. It really brings out your inner child. It does a lot of things for you. Um, but there is a line and I definitely think that the last year I've been rethinking that line because I was at a point where I just would purchase, purchase, purchase and I came to a point where I did not have time to unbox certain dolls because I just kept on getting dolls. I couldn't keep up with it. And um, I had to stop, I had to take a step back and I had to just evaluate my spending habits, evaluate my purchases and if I actually really like these dolls. And for the most part, I have noticed that I do every single doll I buy, I love, but there are this thing in my mind where it's like, there's so much that I cannot love every single one, if that makes sense. Like, there's some that I just adore and a million years will never sell. And there's some where I'm like, yeah, I love it, but I don't touch it. It just sits there collecting dust on the shelf, if that makes sense. Part of it was I felt the need to always get doubles because I wanted to be that collector that had everything in box and out of box, which is nice if you are financially stable or, you know, you can't afford that double at the time it comes out. You know, that collector doll, that doll that... You know, it's limited and you're like, oh, I, I can afford two of her. But the issue comes is space. Not everyone has a doll room. Not everyone has a space for their dolls. Maybe some people are lucky and they have a shelf or two. But for the most part, we run out of space. And that's another issue doll collectors, I'm sure, go through. Um, other than like financial, a financial situation, but also space. And it came to a point where I just wasn't appreciating the doll I was buying as much as I wanted to. I like to be very grateful for what I have and what I own. And I just came to a point where it's like, am I doing this because I want to complete that line? Or am I doing this because I genuinely like that doll and I genuinely want it in my collection and I would enjoy it. I would do photography. I would redress her. You know, I, I didn't do that. I kind of lost that touch with dolls and... It stressed me out so I just kept on looking and I'm just like I know to some people having this huge collection is probably amazing but to me I felt overwhelmed and I felt like okay yeah it's cool but it's not what I wanted I just did it because you know I felt pressured to get doubles or I felt pressured to complete the line and that's just me, that's just me as a completionist. If you're like that, that's totally cool. Like you can do whatever. Um, but for me as a person, I want to look at something and really appreciate it and have time with it. And that brings me to one of my last points. Another dilemma I personally had 
um, was like having the feeling that if I don't buy that doll, it's gonna be more expensive and I'm gonna miss out and it's a huge FOMO. I get it, FOMO is not fun. I've experienced FOMO I think more in my life in the doll community than any other thing in my life. But I'm starting to learn that you just can't have everything. And I know that's so simple, so it's just a simple concept. But when it comes to like dolls in the doll community, you want your grail. You want the, like that doll that, you know, that's hard to get. You want, and I get it, that's fine. You can have a set goal, but it's okay if you don't get it. That's okay. And, you know, breaking the bank or, um, Stressing yourself out over a doll is just not a hobby for me anymore. And that's why I had to take a step back and reevaluate my doll collection and reevaluate my collecting. Now, don't get me wrong, there are still moments where I get obsessive and I think, oh my god, I gotta check out the new latest deals. And I just stop myself and I'm just like, okay, I just got a doll. Did I open that doll? Did I enjoy that doll? And I kind of just go from there. I kind of enjoy the dolls that I have on my shelf or enjoy the dolls that are coming in and then once that is done I can get another doll that's just my personal thing and my personal experience with doll collecting and I know everyone's different I know some people in the community are very much perfectionists and that's fine I know people in the community they have to have every single new release and that's fine um, I do think it's something that I will be learning as you know as I grow as a doll collector and I think it's something that I just personally want to get over with like I don't need to have every single new doll and I obsess over new lines all the time and that's cool you can find new things cool and you know obsess over them but of course there's a there's a line okay you know if you're spending hundreds on a new line or a new doll franchise maybe personally I would rethink that and I've don't get me wrong I've done stuff like that but at the end of the day, I just found myself taking it easy and just being appreciative of what I have. And I ended up purging a lot of my stuff. A lot of my stuff were just doubles. And so I didn't lose out anything on my collection. I thought of it as an investment rather than a happiness. And that's something I'm still like learning. I didn't really... Like if you asked me six months ago, I would be like, no, I collect for happiness. But reality is I got so overwhelmed and so into it that I started collecting because I was like, oh, like these are gonna get more expensive and I'm gonna miss out. So better not put the money then and do it now, which it, I don't know, it really gets you and I don't recommend it. Anyways, let's just get right into the video. There are some audio problems, so bear with me, but I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'm sorry if I ranted for too long. Okay, so this is an update. This is part of my closet and I'm keeping my brats mostly here because like I mentioned before, they honestly really give me like an inspiration to dress up and I think brats are my favorite type of dolls and these dolls I think I will never get rid of if I do be very minimal um, because I just, I don't know, I, I think just brats have a different place in my heart than any other doll for me. But I also have my Ever After High because I thought they would go perfect here and I was right. So this is how it's looking like so far. Um, I love it. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's an update. I still have one more brat shelf to go, so wish me luck on putting that up. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll be back when I have an update. I will be purging all of my... Um, not the life dolls what are they called pull-ups i probably keep one but i think i'm gonna get rid of all of them and i am purging some of my limited edition disney dolls what else probably just a lot of doubles honestly i have a lot of dolls and doubles and stuff that i just honestly couldn't live without in my collection i just want to have dolls that i really 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 enjoy so um, yeah, I'm definitely keeping my en Enchantix collection because I love him and all of my Mycene because I don't really have a big Mycene collection. I do appreciate it though. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I'm purging. Uh, maybe some of my, like, G1 Monster High dolls. I don't really need all of them. 
Most of them are just wave one. I don't really collect G1 other than wave one and like Draculaura dolls. So I might just purge some wave ones or sweet scream dolls. Not sure yet. My new box dolls will go in storage because I do want to keep those, but no more new box for me. I think I'm going to try to simplify it because I always get doubles of like a lot of dolls. Um, I'll be very, very picky if I get doubles. I'm going to put my Barbie yet. I love my Barbie dolls. I might be purging some of those as well, but we'll see how things go. I will probably also be purging the Rainbow High bus. Not sure yet. But most of my Rainbow High dolls I completely adore, so I probably won't be purging those. Um, but yeah, guys, and some Bratz dolls. I do know about a lot of Bratz dolls because a lot of people are already messaging me on my Instagram because I posted I might be purging dolls asking about my Bratz dolls. Um, most of them I'm probably keeping because I love Bratz dolls. Okay, those are like my go to. The Bratz dolls are probably going to go in my closet. I have a Thankfully, a pretty big spacious closet, so one side of my closet is going to be Passion for Fashion Brats. They inspire me. They, they inspire me to, like, style my wardrobe. So looking at them when they're by my wardrobe is a, is a guess. So yeah, that's pretty much it for now. I'll check in when I have this an update. room is literally fully empty. Almost. I mean, this, but pretty much what's inside of here, um, I'm either... selling or trading or i just still have to find a place for it but almost everything in here is pretty much set in, like everything in here pretty much is just for sale or trade this is some stuff i'm gonna be trading or selling but yeah that's pretty much it i don't know what else to film oh i'll show you guys where i put everything so this is where i put half of my doll room pretty much still needs to be set up and some things need to be rearranged and probably purged as well i'll keep you i'll like keep an update on that but this is how it looks like i am going to be getting doors which i'm excited for um like for the ikea shelving units but yeah that's how that looks like and then most of my brats are here and then i have my ever after high collection but you can also put shelves here if i wanted to but yeah this this area is like amazingly special to me um so i really really love this area i still have some brats to put up as you can tell but most of everything is put up pretty excited i just need to declutter a bit um and then i put all of my sanrio themed girls so i have cinnamon roll karopi this is a hello kitty themed one and i have karomi and um, my melody and i have my passion for fashion girls all the way up there but yeah, some stuff I moved around. I did purge some Bratz dolls already. I don't think I'm going to be purging anymore. I think almost everything here I will be keeping. Um, maybe some styling heads. Or not styling heads. Uh, what's it called? Man, I can't think. These heads. It's like really late and I've been like working all day. But these heads, I don't know yet. But yeah, that's how everything looks like. Yeah, I do like certain dolls in box, like Comic Cons and stuff like that. But for the most part, like, no more in box for me because it takes up so much space. And I always get doubles. Like, I have a bunch of space. I mean, I have a whole doll room. That was a different story. I think just one doll is enough. Like, for certain doll lines. Um, I just know now. Like, I got used to it. It's been years. I got used to what I know I would love doubles of and what not to. And the ones that I just had for a while now, I think I'm going to sell or trade. So keep an eye out for that. I'm not sure if I will even do it now, <laughs> to be honest. I'm so tired from moving. Like, I mean, like, in this next coming week because I have a lot of stuff I need to do in my personal life. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I keep rambling. I'll see you guys in the next clip. It's the next day and... I got most of my setup set up. I don't know about the Rainbow High dolls yet, but for right now, I'm going to be keeping this set up. Um, I'm trying not to put stuff on the top, but if it does happen, it happens. I'm not nearly finished. I purged a lot, a lot, a lot of dolls, especially Monster High dolls, um, that I'm going to be trading or selling. I still have to, like, go through it. It's a lot. 
but I'm focusing on just setting up stuff right now. I have to unbox a bunch of things. No more inbox stuff. If it is, it's my inbox collection and it goes in storage. But I usually don't want to do that because it's like, what's the point, you know? So here's everything right now. I'm thinking of getting rid of most of my skull collectors, only keeping the ones I really, really love. Um, I literally have every single one except the Grady Twins, even the new um, Nightmare Before Christmas ones. This is somewhat of a- I'm not purging my Kina. I don't know why she's there, but this is the pile that I'm purging. I'm purging all those Monster High dolls. Um, more Monster High dolls here, along with Lika Chan dolls. I have like the com new Comic Con one there. I have a bunch of Bratz of the Life. I have a lot of dolls. I'm purging. These are the ones I'm keeping. I just need to figure out a situation for them. I'm trying not to do box situation. I'm going to be probably unboxing these two because the only thing I want to keep in box are probably Comic Con and School Collectors and my Haunt Couture, which is a lot already. Um, but yeah, that's most of it. Here are the rest of like my dress up Rainbow High dolls. I have to figure out a place for those. Okay, so it's the next day. Yesterday was really, really hectic. Um, these doors took forever to install. I'm not fully finished with my setup because I still have a bunch of things to set up, but I'm, I would say 70% done. So I'm still deciding between this shelf and this thing in that corner. Not sure, but I love this so much. I just, for me, I love seeing my collection, but I also like the privacy of my collection because the place where my doll area is located at, at least half of it, is a little more open um, than a, like a doll room. So this just gives me the ability to still like see my dolls and appreciate them, but also have some privacy if people are over. I don't really care if people know I collect dolls. That's not the issue. It's just an aesthetic thing, really. So um, yeah, so this is what I wanted and I'm really glad it's how I wanted it. Still going through a bunch of stuff that I'm purging. So here is all the stuff I am purging. Most of the brats are for trade just because I most of my dolls that I like or want are brats. So I'm trying to get other brats um, instead of like paying prices or trying to hunt for them. So right now, most of them are for trade. Um, so I also have some down there. I have life that I need to go through. I just sold a Lika Chan set, like a My Melody slash Kuromi Lika Chan set. Um, what else? I have a lot of things. Um, I have a bunch of school collectors, real drama dolls. I have all the Haunt Couture. I'm hoping to trade those because I don't really have prices for them at the moment. I have a bag for sale. I have those dolls, that Disney designer, Yasmin, or Jasmine, sorry. Um, and then. I have more limited edition dolls for sale. Then I have some pull-ups and a bunch of Rainbow High dolls that I just don't want in my collection anymore. So I have a bunch of Build-A-Bears. I just have a lot of stuff. And I'm sure I'm gonna add on a bit more. Um, a lot of these are doubles. So I already have the real drama. I already have Gulia. I already have Comic-Cons. Like I don't need doubles, especially in box. So I just wanna keep my collection minimalistic as possible. But also, I want to have as much dolls that I love as possible, if that makes sense. <laughs> How things are going, um, I still have to figure out a place for my Barbie. But I think it's going pretty well, and I'm pretty proud of myself. I also have to figure out a place for this shelf, because this shelf is kind of like a redress rainbow high shelf. But we'll see how things go. But yeah, guys, stay tuned. I'm sorry if I'm not filming a lot, um, but I just have so much to do, and in such little time in my personal life and in like everyday life or in YouTube life, whatever, like doll life. I don't even know what to say. I just have a lot to do. So yeah, stay tuned. And I will be listing a lot of these on my Instagram. If they don't sell my Instagram, then of course I'll list them on other platforms, but yeah, stay tuned. Okay. So these, this is the final clip, uh, just a little overview of my doll collection and how everything's going. It's been a couple weeks now, maybe I believe. It's been like two or three weeks. Anywho, I set up my um, Ever After High, which I adore. And I don't think I'll ever get rid of my Ever After High unless I need to. And my Bratz as well. Finally set up, the final setup. I still have some, you know, girls to wash and set up. But for the most part, they're pretty much set up. And my Mycene are over here. 
but yeah that's pretty much it for my brat slash my scene air like area um this area is probably my favorite out of my whole doll collection to be honest but yeah let's move on to the other dolls my little's pet shop area slash my little pony area so I decided to keep the My Little Pony and Little's Pet Shops together. I thought that was pretty smart. Little's Pet Shops are coming out. Little's Pet Shops were one of the first things I collected. So you better or best believe I'm going to be collecting the little Little's Pet Shops Generation 7. Um, these things I've owned for over 10 years. Like these are my childhood. So Little's Pet Shop is literally like my everything. <laughs> and then My Little Pony is also my childhood. These these two things are just some of the first things I collected as so a kid. So here is how everything looks right now. I'm not 100% done with this area, but I'm pretty satisfied without, with how everything turned out. Like I said, this is more of my like public area of my house. Um, so I just did what I was comfortable with. Again... A lot of people know that I collect dolls. It's not an issue of collecting dolls, but I'm just a very aesthetically pleasing person, if that makes sense. I like things in a certain color or area, like it has to be a certain color. So dolls really throw it off. <laughs> but you know, I'm working with what I have and I'm happy. This is my Monster High collection, my Draculaura collection. I unbox actually Comic-Con, woohoo. I never thought I would do that. Um, this area is still being set up. I still have some school collectors I kept like, um, Nightmare Before Christmas and Chucky and Tiffany. Those I still need to unbox. Here are more um, Monster High. A lot of this is inbox. Like I said, my inbox are probably just going to be this and that. Just honestly. Um, I recently got a double of Spectra because, you know, I said no more doubles and I got a double. The only doubles I ended up keeping from my Monster High collection were... Um, the uh, Crypt Productions, because I have them in box and out of box. I will be taking that Spectre out of box just because these are the most nostalgic, especially the Wave 1 dolls. I got rid of my um, real drama ones and I only kept one set. I got, yeah, I only kept one set. I mean, I'm just happy with that. And I'm, I haven't sold my out of box collection of Hong Couture. I'm still iffy about that. Or I haven't traded it because I think I want to trade it more than sell it. So I'm still iffy about that. But I am keeping them right here for now. And the other ones are in storage just for the meantime until I make my decision. I don't want to regret anything. Here is the Generation 3 shelf. Which I can't even fully open. You're just going to have to enjoy it like this. So this is still something I have to set up and complete. But for the most part, I took down the play sets. Just because... Um, this is the dull area that I have now, meaning whatever fits here, fits here, you know? So I'm not really doing play sets unless I really, really want to. Here is the rainbow high shelf. I have two rainbow high shelves, okay? So I have this whole shelf and then I have this whole shelf. So um, if you guys want like a doll room tour, I can definitely do that, but that's pretty much it. That's everything. Um, I have my Barbies here, which I thought I was going to have issues <laughs> with, like, finding a place. And I also have, like, my restyled dolls here and some Disney-ish dolls that I decided to keep. Um, I actually kept two more Disney dolls that I didn't think I was going to keep, but I liked how they went um, with the, like, decor that I was going for at a certain place in my house. So, yeah, and I have the Enchantix dolls that I need to fix. I just kind of put here for safekeeping. But yeah, that's pretty much everything. Thank you guys so much for watching and um, leave a comment below. What is your favorite doll franchise? Just comment down below. Tell me what you think of, you know, overconsumption of dolls or just whatever. Just leave an opinion down below. Just please keep it sweet. Keep it nice. You know, if, if I said something that maybe you don't agree with, that's totally fine. You don't have to agree with me. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!